So hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here and this here is Euplotis. Euplotis is a single-celled microorganism, it is a ciliate and on the surface of Euplotis you have those tiny little hair that are moving, these are called the cilia. I isolated it from a fairly old water sample that I had standing on my windowsill for several days and I was observing Euplotis for a few minutes and then I saw that it actually slowed down quite a bit and its cilia, the little hair, they also stopped moving and then the whole cell actually started to simply drift around not actively moving anymore and then a few minutes later I could actually see that the cell popped open and the cell contents were spilled out into the surrounding medium. Now I did not only observe this once but as a matter of fact I think about uh, three or four times with, uh, with uh, different uh, cells and I was kind of wondering why this is the case and I think uh, that this could be because maybe there was still a little bit of soap or detergent uh, on the microscope slide from my last cleaning session. Uh, I'm not quite sure about that if that is the real case but um, I think that is a, a good working hypothesis. Um, detergents generally dissolve the cell membrane and therefore they break open the cells and this is of course the reason for cell death. Now if you look very carefully you're going to also see a lot of bacteria swimming around uh, in the medium and here you do not see them quite as well because this one is now using a different contrasting technique called DIC and uh, DIC gives nice images as well but sometimes the structures that cannot be quite seen as well compared to phase contrast that I have uh, over here. Now again uh, let's have a look at those bacteria on the surrounding. Uh, they basically are quite a bit smaller than the eukaryotic euplotis uh, that you see here in the center um, and as a matter of fact both bacteria and eukaryotes, um, euplotis is uh, both single-celled organisms but you can see that there is a big difference um, in size here as well. Um, now uh, I think uh, if you look very carefully at the cilia now they started to curl up a little bit it's quite interesting um, and uh, then also a few few minutes later then also the cell started to pop open again and the cell contents were spilled and then carried away with uh, the surrounding water stream. You see this as a matter of fact happening uh, right now and in nature everything is recycled uh, and therefore of course the bacteria that can be found in the surrounding medium they absolutely love to feed now on the debris and on the cell contents and they will break that down and they will recycle everything so you see nothing is wasted um, in nature. Now if you want to observe water microorganisms then sometimes this can be a little bit difficult because they move around so quickly and there is a trick uh, how you can slow them down and one of the ways is, is to make sure that you do not use too much water so that the cover glass is kind of pressing against the cells a little bit uh, and this really limits uh, their movement and that's something that I recommend that you try as well. I think for today again that's enough. Happy microbe hunting as always. See you around next time and bye bye.